Hey everybody, Kaylin McBee here with Healthy Living with Kaylin McBee, McBee Well and Balance Massage and Wellness Center. I'll do a subdued dance tonight for our three minute Thursday because this week's topic is kind of serious. I live in Connecticut and we have had several identified deaths related to the triple E virus, which is Eastern equine encephalitis. If you have any symptoms of extreme headache or nausea or extreme lethargy, uh, tiredness that is unexplained, please go to your doctor as soon as you can. Another way that you can avoid being bit by those mosquitoes is to certainly stay out of the outdoors during their prime times, which are going to be during dusk and dawn. And if that's not possible, when you do go out wearing long sleeves, including maybe even a turtleneck, which I know sounds totally crazy when we're having warm weather, but as much coverage as you can have on your body is important. And if that's not possible, then we have some other options that are chemical free, which is really important to me and uh, my family. The first is a natural insect repellent. It contains uh, several essential oils that have been 99.9% .9 effective against biting insects, including ants and mosquitoes and uh, fleas and ticks and all those things. And this particular one contains citric acid and peppermint oil, geranium, thyme, etc. There's a couple other ingredients. And then if that's not, uh, if you don't have this specific one, then you also have some essential oil options. But again, as I have always reiterated in the past, make sure that you're going through a reputable distributor to make sure that you're getting the essential oils that are pure and not having any synthetics or additives. So the first one that you've probably mostly heard of is citronella. That is an oil that's put into candle wax and can be really helpful to put out on tables, but also comes in an essential oil form so that you can combine that with some lotion and rub it actually on your skin directly. Next is geranium. It has a very floral scent, which is one of the components of the spray that I mentioned before. And then the last one is lemongrass. And that is, again, another component that's really nice to put into a lotion and then rub onto your skin. So if you have any other questions about how to keep your family safe during this triple E outbreak that we're having, I'd be happy to answer them. This is Kaylin McBee with Balance Massage and Wellness Center, Healthy Living with Kaylin McBee and McBee Well. Hope you all have a great night. Take care.